All right, guys, back. And while I was waiting for the expedition team to, you know, excavate fossils and stuff like that, I was like, you know what? I, I feel like maybe I could improve my monorail system, and that's what I've done. So you guys remember what it was just moments ago? It seems like I'm getting a little bit of lag over here. But now we have a stop over here, basically right next to the entrance, which is fantastic. And it just curves around all the way over to here. It kind of covers, you know, the power plant area. And, of course, it comes to this uh, stop right here you guys all know about. And instead of curving around the dino areas, I've made it start curving inside the dino dino areas because of course you know and get them a pretty good view of the dinos and stuff like that and the monorail covers each and every dino enclosure here's the herbivore area the ceratosaurus the upcoming dilophosaurus area right here as well as the raptor area over here velociraptor over here so as you can see this is covering a ton of area and if we look at facilities 94 percent transport rating and food and drink and fun and shopping were all 100 percent just moments ago whenever i was off camera but you guys can see wow everything is like Oh, yeah, right there. That's what I'm talking about. See, I'm real news. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100% right there. 93% for transport and 91% for dino visibility. Probably because, hmm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the dino visibility is lacking in terms of, uh, I'm like the herbivore area. Um, I guess I could look at the management views. And was it this one? Yes, visibility. It's covering quite, I'm like, if anything, the back part of the Dilophosaurus or Velociraptor area. That's not really covered too well. Oh, disease contracted. But... I think the monorail also covers the dino viewing, isn't it? Doesn't it? I don't know. Uh, oh, one of the Draco Rexes is infected. Time for the ra or Ranger Team. Come on, Ranger Team 1. Time for you guys to... Adding task. There you go, just to make sure it does not spread. And while you guys are out there, you might as well add a task to refill Request that. Acknowledged. As well as refill Ranger Team 2. Refill this. Heading to the feeder now. And refill this. Task received. And pretty so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hi, okay, this gate is very, very damaged right now, you guys. I kind of want to add a new team. There you go. Ranger Team 3, repair. repair. And it seems like this thing... Oh, oh, I thought that was a part of the... I thought the uh, weather station needs to be repaired. Adding to the list. But there you go. They need to repair that gate. Make sure another escape does not happen. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, look at that. Disease operate control. Perfect. All right. Well, yeah. Anyways, back to management views. Um, Dino visibility and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, see the mod, that's what I was saying, the monorail definitely counts as a part of the visibility and stuff like that, and, and it's like a moving visibility thing, that's kind of why, I, I was I was suspecting that, I had a feeling like maybe that's why our rating and everything isn't really the best, so that's why I kind of wanted to move, anyways, let's go back to the fossil center, and well, we have new Dilophosaurus fossils and stuff like that to extract, so let's go do that, as well as get even more heckin' Dilophosaurus fossils, <laughs> anyways, hopefully we have an amber, no we don't, but a three star and a two star, honestly can't complain, we're gonna get these guys, uh, uh, pretty close to full genome, maybe with uh, three or four more trips, I'd say. So I'm going to pause the recording once again and continue doing more excavating off camera. If anything interesting happens, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But just wanted to show you guys this brand new updated monorail over here because I know I'm probably going to get comments about it. But look at this. I feel like it's a fantastic addition right now. All right. Well, like I said, go to pause the recording, get more excavating done, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Oh, and leave a comment down below. What do you guys think of my park here in Isla Muerta so far? I think it's fantastic and it's five stars for facility like you can't get any better than that but my dinosaur rating that's what we're working on right now trying to get that up and once we get that up then we're going to move on to isla tacaño so that's going to be a really cool little island over there but like i said going to pause the recording and i'll see you guys here in a bit all right guys back and i've done some more monorail action as well as built a second hotel now it turns out there's an area over here you know past the power plants and all that kind of stuff where i can actually build so i actually built another hotel over here i saw that the other hotel had park overcrowding i was at like 20 percent or something like that and i assumed hey maybe we need a second hotel so i thought you know what this new location seems like a great spot so we have a uh, emergency shelter here storm defense station a toy shop a restaurant and a clothes shop over here. The clothes shop still, for some reason, has zero people. <laughs> <laughs> kind of reminiscent of the other shopping center, right? Golly. But the restaurant seems to be doing pretty well there. Uh, what about the toy shop, though? Is anyone even going to this one? Uh, yep. Yeah, there's pretty, pretty decent amount of people coming over here. Not bad. And remember, we did spend $2 million for that one uh, viewing tower for the guests. So how's about we place down a ooh, viewing gallery... Yeah, let's place down this right here. And of course, the monorail, I did extend it over here, by the way, and put a stop right there, by the way, as well. So there's that. 
so the monorail should cover this like back bit all the way over here uh, the areas where the viewing gallery cannot see but another place the viewing gallery cannot see is really really far away which is what the viewing platform is for but it is a very narrow like field of view so you can't really see like too much you know so I kind of want to put this maybe right here yeah, that seems like a good spot right there. It kind of cuts into where the dinos can hang out and stuff, you know? But I suppose we could have an herbivore area there, and I don't know, maybe a small carnivore area there? I don't know. I guess, or maybe the herbivore area can- Oh! Oh yeah, path got- yeah, I didn't- I didn't connect those paths yet. Yeah, not that big of a deal. Let's put a, uh, big old path right there. There you go. And do the same thing right about there. All right, just kind of curves around and goes right into the viewing platform, which is great. So this is going to be for herbivore, so don't really need anything insanely crazy in terms of uh, gates and stuff like that. So I, I think a regular old electric fence should be fine. Let's make this uh, decently big. Oh, no power. Yeah, I made a few power things, so we should be fine. Uh, power, I made, like I think, like one, maybe two power stations or something like that, so... Try and build this gateway all the way back here. Basically all the way out to the edge, to be quite honest. Just try and make this like a huge, huge herbivore area. Just because like, why not, right? There is an area on the opposite side of the map too, where we could actually build maybe a huge carnivore area where I guess nature can take its course if, you know, carnivores want to do that type of stuff, right? <laughs> but, uh, man, I, I have so much heckin' money. I really need to start spending this. Kind of want to build, yeah, yeah, let's build another viewing gallery, like, right here. Well, we could put one there, another viewing gallery here. It kind of overlaps a bit, but about right there is fine. Yeah, right there, that's a good spot. And I think the path is connected. Nah, it's not. Ah, just barely not connected right there. <laughs> ah, there we go. That's a big old path. That should be fine. We'll worry about the power here in a bit, though. But I do want to continue making more of these viewing galleries. Just to kind of connect this whole area to be, you know, you'll be able to see the whole heck in place. I guess I could put a viewing platform here where this is kind of narrow and I can't really squeeze in a big old viewing gallery. So let's get ourselves a viewing platform. Yeah, there we go. Seems to work here. You can definitely see far away a lot easier and such. So those are powered, but how are these other galleries? Yeah, they're not really doing too well. Hmm. I'm like, I want this to be a, a huge, like, viewing platform area like that, you know? But I guess because of the terrain being all, like, hilly and stuff there, you can't really do too much there. So I suppose, uh, we could probably turn this into a, uh, is that, like, right outside? No, that's... Oh, yeah, that needs a path. Yeah, that needs a path. That's the reason why it's, like, yelling at me, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, a dead di Yeah, we had a few dead dinos off camera just moments ago, you guys. We lost, like, a trike and some other stuff. And I've already made another trike, so... Oh, <gasps> no! A velociraptor! Whoa, how did... Oh, died of old age. Wow. Yeah, that seems to be, like, the, the like pattern here. Everything seems to be dying of old age over here, you guys. It's getting that part of the series, you know. So anyways, let's get ourselves the Trur transport team to take care of them. And how are we doing on power? Are we missing power? Oh, I guess that's because it's not connected, I suppose. Anyways, yeah, let's continue connecting the enclosure over here while the ACU takes care of all that. But uh, yeah, we definitely do need like a gate over here, so I don't know where to put it. I guess I could put it like right here. <laughs> I could put the gate like right about there, that should be a pretty good easy access, so that should be fine. And let's connect that basically straight to the viewing gallery. There we go. Trying to connect these as much as I can. There we go. Trying to connect building to building. And then, of course, we'll connect this uh, gateway all the way around to this other viewing gallery or building or whatever you want to call it. There we go. That's a pretty good little enclosure there. I believe that should be fine. Should be fine. I think we're short on power just a little bit, so I think my brand new station, yeah, I never gave it upgrades, yeah. So let's give it an improved output 2.0 for 60 thou. And... Uh, outage protection? I guess I could do that. Uh, outage is by 20%. Time. I kind of want to do, like, improved output 2.0 double for that, right? Like, why not, right? Sheesh. Anyways, there we go. We have tons and tons of power. Should be fine. I'm like, these electric fences are taking up tons of power. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh, what's happening here? Oh, this place doesn't have power. What in the world? Wait, do we not have enough power? Or is this place not, like, connected to a thing? Because that never had problems previously. Yeah, that's connected to a thing, no problem. I, th I guess we're not just producing enough power in general. Yeah, total required power, 23. Total available power, 2. Wait, what? Oh, disease, disease. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, one of the Velociraptors. No! Oh, whoa, something's happening. Oh, I think... What in the world? 
Well, that requires power, too. What in the heck? Okay, well, whatever. We need the ranger team to come over here. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, we do have a second Adding ACU need, uh, ACU center over here. Just because, you know, it's right next to the Velociraptor area should be easy peasy, no problem, to help, uh, you know, knock out Velociraptors that are you know, escaped and whatnot. Anyways, uh, I guess maybe we're not good uh, on power? Full available power too? Maybe not. I don't know. I, I feel like maybe one of my things needs to be repaired because we did have a storm off camera. Uh, doesn't seem like it. I'm not seeing anything here that needs to be repaired. Ah, I guess we're fine. Ah, I, don't, I really don't know what this, like, two power stuff is all about. Like, it's showing me that the... Oh no, dead dino! No, man, lots of dead dinos lately, you guys. God, oh no, one of the Velociraptor. Man, these guys are dying a lot lately. Oh, died of old age, I bet. Yep, died of old age. That's what I'm talking about. A lot of these guys, and that's pretty much the exclusively Asset to be collected. the main reason why these guys are dying. Like, there's no diseases or anything like that. Like, we're, we're taking care of the diseases that do come in. Like, look at that. Disease outbreak controlled, so... Ah, what are you going to do, right? Oh, well, and by the way, we're really close on to the Lavasaurus. Uh, I just need to go here. I think we have or, uh, fossils for the Dilophosaurus. And speaking of the devil, there it is right there. One star, though, so I don't think it's going to take us to 100% genome. I might need to take one more trip. By the way, we did get the site completed thing. It's a check mark. It's a green check mark, which is different from this red triangle where it says site depleted. So it's, I guess, site completed. Maybe that, maybe that means it's depleted of all Dilophosaurus fossils. And maybe it has other fossils there, but I just, you know, haven't discovered them. Maybe I'll discover them once I get really good uh, science or entertainment or security with their reputation and all that kind of stuff. Maybe we're going to get that. Well, anyways, kind of want to do more power out output over here. Power outage stuff. I'm like, we haven't really had any power outages. And when we do have power outages, I'm like, the rangers are pretty good about it. So let's give ourselves improved power output. That way we'll be able to produce more power. Because the uh, protection and all that kind of stuff, eh, not that big of a deal. Improved power output. Let's just do it for everything, just because we're heckin' greedy as heck. <laughs> Improved power output 2.0 for everything, producing as much power as possible. Ba boom. All right. Now I don't think we have any power problems over here. Hashtag power problems. All right, so I think this enclosure over here is fully enclosed, which is great. I'm like, that's kind of the point, right? <laughs> so let's see. Uh, I'm like, you get a pretty good view of the area, especially with the monorail and those, like, viewing towers and platforms or whatever, so I think it's a pretty decent coverage we have here. I'm like, especially with, like, the terrain being all hilly and all over the place, <laughs> I'm like, I did my best, to be quite honest, so, but anyways, uh, oh, man, oh, we need a ham and come, oh, man, I'm always forgetting about that, golly, I was about to say, like, maybe I could, uh, fly him over here, but at the same time, that'd take a lot of, I kind of want to, like, maybe I'll get rid of this gallery here. And then I put the Hammond Creation Lab, like, right there. So, yeah, let's get rid of this one. I don't want to get rid of the monorail. Get rid of the valve viewing. There we go. Demolish the building. Get rid of this. With the fences and stuff. There we go. And that's a lot of space right there. All right. Let's try and place down the Hammond Creation Lab. Or how... What is it called? I forget the technical name. <laughs> Anyways, this is where it's going to need to start. Oh, terrain constraints. Ah, man, see? I need to keep on dealing with the terrain constraints. Oh. Ooh. There we go. Barely slipped one in right there, you guys. All right. Well, I guess we're not going to get the uh, area, like, all the way extended over here like I wanted. But what are you going to do? Can't really have the perfect area, I suppose. Oh, expedition complete. All right. Well, I suppose we're going to be building the enclosure around this. So let's continue building this. There we go. I think that should be fine. All right. So now we have a ham and creation whatever. Then what is it called? Creation lab. That's what it's called. All right. Let's place the, uh, the pathway. Connect that up. It's going to be kind of tough because of this uh, monorail-like pathway. There we go. Got it. All right. Well, let's get the uh, the efficiency or whatever it's called. The success rate. That's what it's called. Get the success rate stuff just because I'm in, like, that's, like, the best upgrade we have here. Like, it's crazy good. And I think everything else should be fine, especially with the viewing gallery and the viewing tower and all that. This is a relatively big area here, to be quite honest. It's kind of crazy. Definitely want to make some water here. So let's start lowering some area, maybe around here in the back. Seems like a great spot. And of course, place down some water. Perfect. That's a big old lake. All right. That's great. And let's place down some feeders. Ground herbivores. I haven't had any big old herbivores yet, unfortunately. And there you go. Have two feeders. That, that, that should cover it. It's honestly a really big area there. I'm like, we do have the like ankylo and like uh, the other stuff. Like we have a uh, Huayangasaurus, which is kind of like an ankylo, and some other critters too, so we're going to have a lot of people, or a lot of critters populating over there. Yeah, look at that, another Huayangasaurus, Huayangasaurus, and some other random thing that we could sell in another one right there, so yeah, we're still short 
on getting the full Dilophosaurus genome, unfortunately. But yeah, this Chunkingosaurus, we're, going, we're starting to get some of those as well, which is great. Oh, I think I might have some critters over here that I forgot that. Yeah, God, I forgot to release the trike. Yeah, uh, we did lose a trike off camera. So I'm going to release that as well as a Dracorex. I also have two Ceratosauruses over here. I think I made one off camera, but I forgot to mention it. But now we have two of them over here. But hopefully we can start making these other critters all the way. Yeah, let's make the Hawaiangosaurus over here. Is it? Is it 100%? Yes, yeah, it's not. It's at 80%. Really, really close, though. Not bad. I, I, I don't really want to have, like, trikes and stuff over here. I really want to have, like, dead Montosaurus and all that stuff. 22 rating, 32 rating. And here's the Chunkingosaurus. Decent ratings over here. But here's the Ankylo right there, as, the, as well as the Corythosaurus. Definitely want to get that one uh, excavated a little bit more as well, because, of course, we have a contract for that one. So... I think I'm going to pause the recording and continue getting even more of these fossils and stuff like that. I'm like, it takes some time getting them off camera and stuff, and I do forget every time they come back, I keep forgetting to send the excavation team out again. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best, but I definitely wanted to update you guys on how we're doing here at the park. I think it's turning out really great right now. How's our rating right now? Yeah, facility's still five stars over here, but hopefully dinosaur rating goes up because we're going to start getting some new dinos. Well, relatively new dinos. So that's going to be great. Wow, dinosaur visibility 100%. Wow. Probably because of the monorail. That's awesome. And by the way, yeah, you guys probably saw the monorail basically covers the whole entire new herbivore area over here. So that is great alongside the viewing tower and viewing galleries and all that kind of stuff. So you guys, or I guess anyone here in the park, they're not going to have any problems looking at the critters over here. It's going to be great. Anyways, I'm going to pause the recording, continue getting even more fossils, and I'm going to, oh, whoa, lots of lag over here. Man, probably because I've got so many structures and stuff, so many things going on at once, starting to lag the game, you know, but go to pause the recording, get more fossils from the expedition team and all that. Oh, look at that, speaking of the devil, looks like they're coming back right now. All right, where's their helicopter? There it is. That thing just like appeared out of nowhere. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Let's see what they got, though, before we leave off and I pause the recording and stuff like that. And they have landed. Perfect. Let's go see what their fossils have. Uh, so, okay, so another Chunkingosaurus. And it looks like, a, yes, another Dilophosaurus. 94%, another one star right there, yeah. Taking a little while to get the full genome on that one. Not like we need a million percent of that genome. But, of course, it'll help out with the rating. It'll have 100% authenticity. Even with the uh, Hammond Creation Lab, like, viability thing, that does not help out the awesome authenticity, I don't believe. So, definitely want to watch out for that, but... Go to browse recording and get more artifacts, or <laughs> get more fossils, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back, and we just got a 100% genome for the Dilophosaurus, finally! Golly, it's been a little while, right? Sheesh. Anyways, I did already close the gate over here. I did remake those Velociraptors that did die, so now we have four Velociraptors again. We just had another incident, so my rating has taken a hit over here, and I just released all the people from the, uh, the emergency shelter and stuff like that, so that's good. Anyways, 100% Dilophosaurus, let's modify the gene, and let's see how high we can get this guy rated. I don't think he's quite high. Yeah, He's not quite high rated as I think like the Velociraptor, uh, yeah, Velociraptor, but uh, wow, we can give him the Savannah pattern gene, which by the way, I've been doing research for like everything, by the way, and I think I have everything except for like one or two things. Maybe I'll show you guys that here in a bit, but might as well give him that just to kind of up his uh, his rating and whatnot. And what should we do over here? Definitely want to get like lifespan and rating and everything up as much as possible, you know, and... Seems like, yeah, rating goes up by a lot, lifespan goes up by a lot, resilience goes up by a lot. That's an all-around great one. Immune response 2.0. All right. Defense, what do we want to do here? Plus 6, plus 10. Defense attack goes up. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Not bad at all. And we could basically do the same thing for the second Dilophosaurus, but, like, get rid of the uh, the cosmetic, you know? You know, just looking a little bit different, but it'd have basically all the same perks, right? Anyways, I guess we're going to keep this one right here. Tooth Hardness. Let's get this one. It definitely ups the rating as well as the attack. That's going to be great. And what about this one? Resilience. Ooh, plus 4% rating, plus 12% rating right there, as well as a lot of lifespan and resilience. That's great. Expedition complete. All right. Well, they went to get a bunch of, like, herbivore fossils and stuff like that. So I guess I'm like, we're really close to getting the Hyangasaurus 100% on its genome. So maybe we're going to get that here in a bit. That's going to be great. Have a lot of 100%. Uh, crow, no power. I get, yeah, because I did make those power stations basically very susceptible to power outages. Yeah, definitely need to watch out for that, you guys. Anyways. Good thing we got all the gene splicing done right here. Let's just get that one nice and done. Let's do the same thing for this and just get rid of the cosmetic. It's going to be basically the same other than, you know, 
way it looks. So there you go, cosmetic, and that's nice and done. Anyways, let's see, what is the one that needs... Oh, a lot of things are out of power because one of these things is uh, broken. Definitely want to make, like, an extra power station. That way, I don't have to keep relying on the rangers to come over here and repair these whenever they have an outage. So let's definitely make yet another power station. Don't know where we could squeeze one in, though. I might have to squeeze one in, like, on the other side of the map or something, like, all the way over here, maybe? Or... Ah, there's not really any, like, places, honestly. Like, it squeeze in yet another power station. Unless I just put it, like, in the herbivore area or something crazy. But, uh... Yeah, I'm getting a lot of, like, frame rate droppage and lag and stuff over here, you guys. I've been playing for, like, four or so hours today, so my game has been running all throughout that, to be quite honest. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, yeah, I guess I could build uh, one tower or one thing all the way over here. Start building them over here, you know. Might as well. And then just kind of connect everything up together. Uh, where is the... Oh, there's a power source. All right, let's connect that up. Not out. Oh, that's outside the buildable area. Okay. Definitely want to watch out for that. But there we go. All right, so that's connected. And I guess I can give the other ones uh, their, like, power outage prevention upgrade. That way we don't have to worry about their extra power output, improved power output, uh, out of protection 1.0. That's good. And let's do that for all of these again, because now we don't really need that extra power. Uh, oh, this already has outage protection. Okay, that's great. All right, well, I guess I didn't have to worry about that. Okay, improved power, blah, 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 outage protection. Let's definitely get that one, because I do not want to have any more instances where we have, uh, you know, outages and stuff like that. That'll definitely take a hit on our rating and stuff like that with all of our, you know, a uh, handful of places basically being closed because they have no power, right? Anyways, what about this one? Uh, yes, this one also needs the outage protection. Sheesh. <laughs> There's so many places here, you guys. It's crazy. Anyways, is this place, uh... What? Oh, path not connected? Oh, yeah, I need to go connect the path. I think that's the one thing that this is lacking, which I might as well continue, like, the big old path over here, which will, I guess, go about like this. Just kind of wind through that tiny little thin bit right there, and I guess it'll stop about right there because I haven't really built anything past this point, to be quite honest. So there we go. That's all connected. Perfect. Up to $300,000 a minute, which is fantastic, honestly, after, you know, I'm like, no one died during the, uh, because... I'm like, a storm happened, everyone was already in the emergency shelters, so when the Velociraptors broke out off camera, no one got hurt, which was great. Anyways, outage protection, if we want to get that, as well as the improved output 2.0. I bet the improved output 3.0 would be insanely good, you guys, wow. <laughs> Although it's definitely going to need the uh, outage protection, I'll tell you that much. Anyways, uh, I, I, I was making another Ceratosaurus, is that done? Yes, it's done, because the uh, other one did die, so if we want to have, you know, two of these guys, it's always a good number to have. And speaking of the upgrades, I want to see if there are research. Uh, yeah, look at that. This is all I need to do right now is, is just the power upgrade, uh, reduced upkeep, and the ranger station, ranger reload speed 2.0. So honestly, everything else is already unlocked, which is great. Genetic composition and all that kind of stuff. That's awesome. We have tons and tons of upgrades, you guys. And it looks like our Dilophosaurus are nice and done. So let's release both of them. And let's actually watch the animation because we've never made these guys before. And we've made them at 100% genome. And and honestly, very, very highly upgraded. I didn't see what their, oh, I didn't see what their end result uh, rating was. Probably over 100, honestly. Look at those second frills, wow! This dinosaur, the Dilophosaurus, lacks front-facing binocular eyes, a trait common to almost every predator. So instead, it hunted by scent. And now, many predators rely on that sense as well. Hmm. And, uh, yeah, look at that, 95%, or 95 uh, rating, I guess, right? So that's honestly really good. Like, I said it was going to be like 100 or something like that, but this is still really, really good. And let's see what the second one, uh, which one is this? Oh, this is the Vanna pattern. So the one we just saw, that one was the basic pattern. No special cosmetics, no special skin. There's a theory that given enough time, anything, in fact, all things, will happen. Like the advancement that you've achieved. Not to take away from your achievement, but to provide, uh, context. <laughs> ah, anyways, look at that. They need a uh, grassland and forest and all that kind of stuff. I guess we could always go add that in their area here in a bit. But yeah, let's uh, get the ACU helicopter. Let's get these guys both nice and knocked out. And they are in this little buffer area, as I like to call it, which is great because they're not really going to move very far. So we should be able to knock them out pretty easily and then transport them basically like right here. They did need like grassland and stuff. I guess we could start building those, right? I did get rid of all the trees and all that kind of stuff on purpose, basically, just so I could build the water and then, you know, kind of build it after the fact. So now we can actually start throwing in some trees and such. 
Kind of like that. That's going to be great. Maybe put some trees right there. Not too many, but that's a good amount. Not, uh, you know, covering up the area. And how are they doing here? Are they knocked out? Yes, one of them's already knocked out, which is great. Let's get the transport team over here to move that. All the way over here to the near Dilophosaurus area. And I've already put a, uh, a food thing there too, which is awesome. So we don't have to worry about them. It, it's just a regular food. Oh, can I? I could drop them in the water. Oh, look at that. I could, I could drop them in the middle of the lake. <laughs> Well, we still need to take some photos of some dinos running for uh, the security division, as well as get some more Carithosaurus uh, genomes. I haven't gotten them. Although, I, yeah, I have gotten them. I think I have fossils for them, but I just haven't, you know, researched the fossils. Uh, Triceratops fossil. Yeah, we already have 100% genome. We can sell that. So, okay, yeah, look at that. We can get more of that. And this is a one-star low quality. Mmm. Not really that good, but let's get back to our excavation team. Expedition, whatever. And let's see. Where do we want ankle? Yeah, let's go here. Let's go there. It, it gets the Ankylosaurus as well as the Carithosaurus. Carithla, However you pronounce that. <laughs> We're going to find out after we make them, though, like I said. Whatever the announcer names, uh, says their name over the intercom and stuff like that. Anyways, seems like both the Lophosauruses are being transported over here. I think two might be... Ah, I didn't see their social. Maybe three? Uh, I guess we'll see in a bit, but... We're starting out with two right now. If the social is alright, about in the middle. And I think we're going to be fine. I'm like, the area is big enough asset for, I'd say, three. Okay, asset de de delivered. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we could have, like, up to maybe five, six, seven, eight or so of them. But we need to have at least, I'd say, two or three. Is the other one dropped off yet? Confirming asset delivery. Yeah, confirming asset delivery. Yeah, yeah, look at how hungry this guy is. And grassland and forest. Okay, okay, yeah, at least two. Because you can look at that. The social is in the blue, which is great. And the other one must be getting water. Wow, this one's getting some food. Look at him. Om nom and over here. Oh my gosh, that is so crazy. Every time I see him eating like that, it's crazy. <laughs> These, look at those giant slabs of meat as big as them. Golly, what, what critters are those? I don't know what they're eating. God, oh, man. Anyways, with those Lavasauruses over here, I definitely want to go get some Huayangasaurus and some other critters over here. I'm like, they're not going to have a 100% genome or anything like that. I'm like, the Huayangasaurus is about as high as you can get, to be quite honest. So let's try and do some uh, gene splicing with this fella. Try and get him very, very highly rated, as well as get him some good longevity so he lasts longer than die of old age for quite a while, at least. So that one seems like a good one for attack, defense, as well as rating. We don't need to worry about viability anymore, which is great, because that was a problem back in the day. Uh, lifespan and resilience, 15 and 14, great, as well as really good rating there. Can't do anything here for the... Oh, yeah, we need full uh, genome for that. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, we're not getting any Huayangasaurus from the place we're going to right now, unfortunately. But let's incubate ourselves one Huayangasaurus there. And let's get yet another one over here, because I think we need at least two, maybe three of these. So, that one's a savanna pattern. Let's get the arid pattern here. And if, in, if they need three, then I guess we're going to get the regular no skin no cosmetic one and they're going to be good to go all right so now we have two huayangus horses going while they're going i guess we could also work on the edmontosaurus over here as well try and get him highly rated for whenever we get oh we can't give him a cosmetic ah okay well what about uh, 12 for immune response really good lifespan and resilience very nice can't do the full genome splicing because we don't have the full genome unfortunately Really good lifespan and resilience there as well. Really, really cool. All right, so I guess now... Oh, and we can also do this guy too. Let's do this guy. And we can give him the savanna pattern too. I'm like, he kind of looks like a... Uh, oh, I forgot what they're called. But he's called a Chungkingosaurus. Very interesting. So I'm probably completely butchering that like I always say. <laughs> uh, let's see. What do we have here? 10% uh, attack and defense. Yeah, that's always a nice one. Let's see. What else? Uh, six. I'm basically going for, like, the overall rating down there, and it seems to always work out. Like, look at that lifespan, 15 and 14, and resilience and all that stuff. Really, really nice. And another one right there for lifespan and resilience. Very nice. All right, let's go see if our guys are back from the... Guys and gals, of course. See if they're back from the... And yes, they are back from the expedition. Let's see what we get. And it's an Angulosaurus fossil. Nice! And it looks like some dinos are ready to be released. And we got ourselves a plant fossil. So, let's see. Conifer fossils. Yeah, let's get those nice and sold. And let's tell our expedition team to go back to... Kind of want to go back to the Huayangasaurus place to at least get a one with 100% genome. So, that would be this one, yes. And I do not need the Lavasaurus genome or genes or fossils or anything like that anymore. So, I guess I could just throw those away like we did with the trike pretty recently. And speaking of the Huayangasaurus, let's release them. Now, of course, we've already seen them a lot of times on the previous island. So, we could just, uh, you know, skip over that. But look at this. We're going to finally have some critters here in the new herbivore area. Honestly, like a really cool area over here. Pretty big. It's got his big old lake over there. There's a feeder right here. 
There's another feeder all the way over here. So, you know, there's a lot of feeders over here for these guys. They're definitely not going to worry about, uh, you know, starving and stuff like that. I don't know what this weird, like, lighting thing. Like, look at the gate. It's all, like, white. Yeah, look at that. It's, like, all glitched out. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe it's because my game's been running. And look at the lake up there. It's, like, reflecting on the hotel. I don't know what's going on with this. I think it might be because I've been running my game for like four or five hours by now. So maybe like the graphics and stuff are starting to like freak the heck out or something crazy. But anyways, let's try and make another Hwayankasaurus once the other guys come back. But in the meantime, let's try and make that, uh, Edmontosaurus. What about, yeah. Yeah, let's make the Edmontosaurus. I'm like, we have none. And we've done some decent upgrades for it already, so let's incubate one of those. And, oh yeah, let's go look at the Hawaiian sort like the social. Okay, so they're they're pretty good on social right now, don't need to make a third one. So definitely don't want to populate these guys too much over here, but they should last quite a while. I'm like, we've, we've barely had any dino deaths over here, which is crazy. But, uh, oh, whoa, lots of lag there. How are we doing over here in terms of dinos? Wow, look at that. We still have, like, Dracorexes and even some of the Struthiomimuses and stuff like that. That's crazy. These guys have been lasting quite a long time. Man, definitely need to get on my rangers to, uh, photograph these guys running. Let me, oh, yeah, speaking of rangers, I, I need to make a habit of getting the rangers selected and then checking on the gates over here. Definitely want to make the double wall type gate, but unfortunately, I don't think there's any room for me to build a kind of a double dual layered wall sort of meme over there. That's kind of unfortunate, but... What are you going to do? <laughs> Anyways, let's go see if the ex- And yep, look at that expedition team just arrived. That's what I was about to say. That's crazy good timing. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Lava Taurus fossil. I need to sell that because I don't need it. And another Chunkingosaurus. Chunkingosaurus. Man, I really need to hear the announcer saying this. <laughs> Extract DNA for $5,000. And let's go send the expedition team back out to China to hopefully get yet more Huayangosaurus and Chunkingosaurus DNA. Anyways, we're getting quite a lot of critters over here. I'm loving it. And uh, is the Edmont... Oh, Edmontosaurus is almost done. Let's see whether or not he wants to have a friend. Wow! $457,000 a minute, you guys. Wow! That's crazy! I wasn't even paying attention. But my dino... Yeah, look at that. My dino penalty and all that stuff is definitely going down now that we have, the, you know, the Hwayangosaurus. Now we have the Edmontosaurus. Let's release him. Of course, we've already seen him a million times. But once he's released, let's go look at his uh, stars and all that stuff. See how he's doing in terms of, like, social. Well, look at him coming out. I guess we could watch him. Kind of unfortunate we can't really give him any skins. Because he always has this, like, paintballs exploding in front of his face look. He's got this weird, like, teal on his face. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, he doesn't need a friend, but... I feel like he'd want one, like he's like on the edge of social, being in the red, you know, so I guess we can make another Edmontosaurus friend, or maybe we should wait until we have 100% genome. I don't know, How, how's our expedition? I'm like, I did give them, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if I show this on camera, but I did give them all three dig speeds over here, so they should be excavating rather quickly. Yeah, let's set them in a remaining there, not bad, but they are in China right now. And the Edmontosaurus is a North American type of critter, so I guess I could start uh, incubating another one over here. And, you know, just slightly modify the genes a little bit. That way it's not basically the same critter. Oh no, a dead... Ah, oh, that's what I'm saying. It's very rare, but when it happens, it, it never gets easier, I'll tell you that much. Oh man, one of the Dracorexes, it looks like. Golly, he was just eating some food. And then he just passed out and never woke up. Asset collection request received. Ah oh, man, that's so sad. He's just over here eating some food, enjoying himself, and... Man, right in front of the... I uh, wasn't really right in front of the gallery, but... Still... That's what I'm saying, it never it never gets easier. Like, even though we've had Drake Rexes a million times by now... Oh, wow! Yes, Hoyangus... Hoyangus horse. We're gonna get 100% genome for these guys. And the Chunkingus horse is getting pretty close there, not bad. Two-star medium quality there, can't complain about it one bit. But I think we might... 95% with a medium quality for two stars? I'm trying to think. I don't know if that hits full Asset genome. I think it'd need to be at least three stars to get five. But I, I don't know. I guess we'll find out here in a moment. Yeah, let's go back to the uh, fossil thing. Should be done extracting the fossils and stuff any second now, right? Yep, three more seconds. Let's see if we get the full... Oh, wait. Whoops. Wait, what? Which one was that? Oh, I guess we didn't get it. Or maybe we did. Uh, well, anyways, we do need to get the extraction team. Let's get, uh, more Hoyangosaurus. I kind of want to get more North American type critters. Dracorex, Cor yeah, I need to get the Corythosaurus, or whatever you want to call it, as well as the Edmontosaurus. Might as well get more of those, you know? 
Man, I really wish I had two excavation, or at least like multiple excavation teams, you know? Ah, what are you going to do? That always looks like the Chunkingosaurus got about 2% on its genome there, so I saw, oh no, another dead one, probably from the herbivore again, yep, another one from the herbivore area, golly. Well, we we lost a Draco Rex, and en route to pick up the asset. looks like he had another Draco Rex down. Mm. Well, I guess we're going to get, uh, I guess we can make a couple more of them. I'm mean, like, I did make, I think, one or so more Draco Rexes recently, because of course one died off camera a little while ago, but I suppose this one can be an arid pattern one, and then we can make a regular one, because I think the recent one, that might have been an arid or alpine pattern, yeah. So, don't want to have too many of the same looking ones, so this one could be a basic one. And then incubate that one, get those guys nice and made, and yeah, honestly, I think we're doing pretty well over here, you guys. Let's check the viewing gallery. 194 guests here, looking at the Dilophosaurus as wow, that's honestly really cool. Is that more on the Velociraptors? Surely not. Yeah, 397, 391 over here, looking at the Velociraptors, of course, the most popular at once. And then, oh, I don't know. Let's go look at the Serata. How many people are over here? Only 18 are looking at the Serratosauruses. But yeah, they're probably like outside of outside of viewing range, probably. What about over here? 43 guests over there. How about looking at the uh, Hawaiian horses? I'm like, it is a relatively new part of the map. And how many people at the viewing towers? 18 there. Although I don't know how many people can even go there. So, how many at the viewing gallery? 124. Wow. Honestly, really, really good. Anyways, do we have any crit? Yeah, we don't have any critters there. I think we're waiting for at least one more Edmontosaurus, I think. And it looks like, yep, we have some dinos ready. Drago Rex is done. Let's get that one nice and released. And the second one is almost done. There it goes. Release that bad boy too. All right. Well, let's see if the. Yep, I hear a helicopter in the distance. Uh, can't physically see it right now. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Yep, they're back from the expedition. So we should have more Edmontosaurus, and I think the uh, the other one, Cory Corinth. Whatever. <laughs> Edmontosaurus right there, and I think it, yeah, Edmontosaurus again right there, yeah. So Edmontosaurus is getting pretty close to getting the full genome, which is great. But yeah, I think I'm going to continue doing more of this off camera. Between this episode and next episode, we're getting like the maxed out rating over here on Isla Muerta. Like, look at that. We're at four and a half stars right now, you guys. That is crazy awesome. Yeah, let's get some Ankylosaurus to, uh, as well. I don't know if it's even gotten the 50% on Ankylosaurus, so. Might as well try and get it uh, maxed out, you know? But honestly, uh, leave a comment down below. I, I think I said it a little while ago as well. But my park is here on Isla Muerta. It's getting really, really good. Like, I'm not bragging or anything, but like, over here, we have room for even more, like, dino areas, which is fantastic. And I think past that point, I think we're pretty much forced to move on to the next island that we unlocked like 10 episodes ago or so by now. Golly, how much money are we getting? Almost half a million dollars per minute. That is crazy good money right there, you guys. Wow. How, how, how many guests? 4,231. That is really, really good. And look at that. The variety penalty is down to zero, which is fantastic. We're up to four stars on dino rating, which is awesome. If we want to photograph the dinos running and get the Corinth Corinthosaurus up to 60% genome, there as well, but we should get more of that here off camera. I need to go look up, maybe you guys have been commenting, but I've been recording like five hours of footage today, so I haven't seen your comments yet, but I do need to go figure out what I do for the combat victory thing, and like, do I just like, make dinos battle, but, I don't know. Maybe I get one dino to get two kills, or something like that, I, I don't know. And I, I don't know if dino vic combat victory, I don't know if fighting goats, killing goats like that, I don't know if that counts, I don't think so. Or else I would have had it by now, because that's pretty much the only feeder that they have here for the Ceratosaurus. So, I think I'm going to pause the recording once more. Is our uh, excavation? I don't think they're back yet. I don't think they're coming back yet. Yeah, less than a minute remaining. Yeah, it's going to be a little while for them. So, I'm going to continue getting more Edmontosaurus DNA, Huayangosaurus DNA, Chunkingosaurus DNA, Ankylosaurus DNA, as well as the Corinthosaurus DNA. A lot of Saurus over here. Sheesh. But I'm going to continue getting all those guys, as well as uh, making them over here off camera. And I will. We'll see you guys here next time with some more Jurassic World evolution, but man, like I'm not lying when I say this, but I've recorded like four or five hours of footage today. I really need to stop. So anyways, thank you guys. All. Oh, we'll leave that both at my, or oh, the way they look like at monster sources in their little fossil icon, but they're both Corinthosaurus. Oh no. Oh, oh, it's feeder supply. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Not that bad. But anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. 
That'll put my latest videos on the YouTube homepage as Feeder soon as they come out. Request received. Might as well uh, replenish all the feeders. But that'll put my latest videos on the YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you do not miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all knowledge. very much for watching. And I will see you guys here next time with some more Jurassic World Evolution. En route to feeder. I'll resupply that feeder. As well as this Confirm one over here. Task. Alright, wow, this park is way better than Isla Mantanceros. I'm definitely looking forward to the next map. What was that called again? Uh, I think we go, yeah, Isla Tacaño. I guess we're going to be going there next episode, so definitely look forward to that, you guys. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I will see you guys here next time with some more Jurassic World Evolution. Oh, bye there.